In today's video, I'll answer your question, how did Jesus bring joy to the world? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Jesus brought joy into the world in some very practical ways. Every time he healed a person, cast out a demon, or forgave a sin, joy was the immediate result. Those who recognized Jesus as the promised Savior and Redeemer of the world were filled with joy. When the gospel spread in the days of the early church, joy followed the message. Humanity yearns for hope, for meaning, and purpose. Within every human heart is the knowledge of eternity, even if we don't recognize it as such. Without God as a vital part of our existence, only emptiness and futility remain. The world was lost in darkness before Jesus came the first time. God had not spoken through his prophets for over 400 years. The period between Malachi and Matthew is silent, setting the stage for the greatest event of all time. God would become a man and live among us. John chapter 1 verse 14. When the angel announced the birth of Jesus to shepherds in the field, his first words were, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Luke chapter 2 verse 10. That great joy was the truth that the God who had seemed far off had come to them in human flesh. He was to be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Those who saw him saw the face of God. John chapter 14 verse 9. He had come to rescue, to save, to heal, and to make mankind right with God. That was cause for great joy. Because Jesus came, sinful human beings have an opportunity to come into the presence of a holy God and be pronounced not guilty. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil in the temple was torn in two, symbolizing that the wall of separation between God and man had been eliminated. From then on, all who placed their trust in Christ would be forgiven of their sin and inherit eternal life. When Jesus rose from the dead, he conquered death for every person who trusts in him. That is cause for great joy. Jesus ascended back into heaven to prepare a place for all those who follow him. But he promised that he will come again, a second time, to establish his kingdom on earth. In this kingdom, righteousness and justice will reign, and God's people will have places of honor. The troubles of this life are not the end. Jesus told his followers, take heart. I have overcome the world. John chapter 16, verse 33. The knowledge that soon we will live and reign forever with our Lord is cause for great joy. The popular Christmas song, Joy to the World by Isaac Watts, celebrates the joyful occasion of the Lord's coming. But the lyrics were never intended to be a Christmas song. They were a poem by Watts based on Psalm 98, which is a psalm of the second coming of the Lord who comes to judge the earth. Verse 9. Jesus' purpose in his first coming was not to judge, but to save. Still, celebrating the king in his lowliness is appropriate. Jesus brought joy to the world in his first coming to earth as a baby, and he will bring joy to the world when he comes again to reign as king of kings and lord of lords. The way for God's promised Messiah, expressed in passages such as Isaiah chapter 59, verse 20, is over. The angels announce his arrival with great fanfare. No greater honor could befall the children of Adam than that their creator had come to redeem them from Satan's stranglehold. So, although our earthly life may be filled with troubles, we have reason for hope. Because Jesus came the first time and is poised to come the second time, we can sing with conviction, joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or for interest in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.